Hey, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. With your Weather on Demand, Wednesday, January 29th, our weather watcher Stanley Strangle out of Painesville reporting six below, mainly clear skies, a light southwest breeze. But we have been watching some gusty winds across the Copper Country and definitely through the Keweenaw Peninsula. Slow going there, peak wind gusts around 35 miles an hour, drifting, blowing snow, reduced visibility, and uh, M26 was closed for a time, but has reopened this morning. Other headlines include, well, it's not quite as cold. It's still below average temperature wise, though. We'll see plenty of sunshine, but late day clouds will be on the move. So here we go. Temperature is much more mild than what we saw over the past several days. Coolest across the western interior. Uh, Two below Florence Iron Mountain, five below is the reading in Iron River, zero in Manistique and in Newberry. Some gusty winds, especially along the shorelines and those exposed portions of the UP. Peak wind gusts around 30 miles an hour, so it does feel more like uh, 20 to 25 below, near 30 below in some of your colder spots. There was a wind chill advisory effected for our western counties, and uh, well, that expires at 11 a.m. on this Wednesday morning. Now, our radar, like we always say, usually struggles to see any snow shower activity across the Keweenaw Peninsula, but we have been seeing some snow uh, reports coming in there, some reduced visibility as a result of that drifting and blowing snow, some snow through that uh, superior shoreline east of Grand Marais. But look at these last couple of frames, clearing sky conditions as high pressure carves out to a nice sunny day for us. Sunshine will be rather short lived. Clouds will be on the increase. This is cloud cover associated with the next clipper type system. You can see the leading edge of that system working towards the arrowhead of Minnesota. That'll keep drifting south and eastward, but a bulk of that moisture and uh, the main center of low pressure will stay toward north. We'll get affected by the cold front dragging along with that cold air retreats to the north where it belongs. If you ask me, so your airport checking in uh, one above zero. Minneapolis still cool with the inland uh, effects there, not buffered by any water five below there. So plenty of sunshine and as this high pressure system drifts to the south and east into the Ohio River Valley, that clears the stage for this next front to work in. There's that clipper and again that stays well to our north that will though drag a cold front along with that. We will watch also some gusty south to southwest winds this afternoon and evening usher in in some of that cloud cover and then by Thursday. Well, we get some system snow with this through the overnight into your early Thursday and then winds will go west to northwest on the back side of that system. Mostly cloudy some lake effect snow, especially in your typical west to northwest wind belts. Well, as the day unfolds, we have plenty of sunshine for you. Temperatures centered uh, generally into the mid and upper teens across much of the uh, west and central upper Michigan. Some of your warmer spots flirting with average seasonal averages, which is around into the low twenties and uh, still mostly cloudy. Some snow through the Keweenaw Peninsula looking east. A little snow along the superior shoreline, especially east of uh, Grand Marais, but we eventually carve out uh, mainly sunny skies there as well. Temperatures a little cooler as a result of uh, not enjoying quite as much sunshine. Low teens temperatures will call a mild through the overnight. Cloud cover moves in to keep us mild. Those uh, southwest winds also on the breezy side. Some system snow. I think it'll be kept in check about an inch or three inches in some of the higher terrain west. And uh, I think we'll continue to see some snow uh, lake effect variety, especially along those exposed portions of upper Michigan in your west and northwest wind belts. Temperatures stay into the teens, at least for daytime highs, dipping to around zero and uh, flirting with below zero temperature readings inland away from the lakes right through the weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.